What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about a mechanic that's been around since the beginning of Ultimate, but one that I still see people not taking advantage of, and that's going to be acting out of a dash. Now, acting out of a dash has been a mechanic in the game since the release, I first heard about it from Zero's movement video, which I will link in the description. The ability to do any act out of a dash wasn't in Smash 4, so some people may not be used to doing it, however it's incredibly useful. In order to act out of a dash, you simply need to release the control stick and then do an action. You need to make sure that these are two separate inputs because if you attack before the control stick is set back to neutral, you will do a dash attack. Now that's not the only way that you can do this. If you don't feel comfortable waiting for the stick to go back to neutral, you can flick down, back, or up if tap jump is off, and then immediately input your attack. I find this a lot easier to do with tilt stick on, so you should really have that on as it's useful for many other things besides just this. You can also shield out of dash simply by holding the shield button. Another little bonus tip is that if you like the extra distance your dash attack gives you, but your forward tilt is superior, Flicking the control stick backwards, then flicking the C-stick forwards will let you slide a little bit further. So now, let's talk about why you need to take advantage of this mechanic. Well, it makes you less vulnerable when you're in dash. When you're dashing, the more typical things to do are either dash attack or dash grab, so by being able to act out of your dash with any other move, you can now choose other and usually better options. Tilt attacks are usually quicker or safer than dash attacks, and regular grabs are usually a lot less laggy than dash grabs, so you won't get punished as hard if you whiff. This is also good if you're playing a character that focuses on spacing out their opponent. Since dash attacks usually have some momentum behind them, if you dash attack your opponent's shield, you will definitely be punished. However, if you're able to space your tilt attacks out of your dash, this will keep you safe while still pressuring your opponent. As is the case with most things in this game, try not to become predictable. If you're constantly stopping short in order to do a tilt out of a dash, your opponent will be able to pick up on it and punish you. So make sure to mix in some other options. If your opponent is constantly shielding when you dash in, then grab them. If you have been spacing attacks on their shields, maybe move in with a defensive option to keep them guessing. Mixing up is a huge part of the game and a huge part of neutral, so if you really want to see the fruits of your labor, make sure you mix up. Just to put this out there, some characters actually have really good dash attacks or dash grabs, so I'm not saying that those moves are useless. However, some characters are really lacking specifically with those two moves, so this will definitely help them. Also, having more options is always a good thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, as I said earlier this is definitely not a new mechanic, but I felt like I needed to remind everyone to do this because it will help you get better. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.